So one thing you'll notice is that we have a lot of different exception types. Uh, but the big thing I want you to focus in on is this fact that they all become, or they all inherit from an object class. Everything is an object. Again, that's the mantra of Java. And it extends, look at that, a class called throwable, which then starts to flesh out. You can start to see things that are very generic are starting to become very more concrete. And so, again, we can look at this and we can see, oh, well, my exception class expands out to all these different kinds. And we'll say, if you notice, we have this runtime exception. That's very generic still, but it expands out into things like our arithmetic exception, dividing by zero, uh, trying to cast a class to the wrong type. Uh, we can go even further. Uh, illegal uh, arguments, uh, number format exception if I'm doing, say, formatting with my dates and whatnot. No pointer exception. I haven't actually put anything in there. Index out of bounds. I'm going too far in my array. We have so many of these that uh, one of the things we have to be aware of is now how do I design out, say, a method that is going to be uh, a little problematic. Uh, it might, you know, crash my program. So what we can do is instead of running that try catch, what we can say is right at the end of my uh, method, I design out this throws command. I add in this new $5 word right here, throws. And all that says is now I'm going to tell you what this method has the potential of throwing. Uh, and again, that's uh, me kind of catching myself before it crashes. If, say for example, my method tried to do 10 divided by zero, well, uh, maybe my error is, is this equal, does, so this is x divided by y, uh, if x, if y equal, equal zero, throw an error. Throw new arithmetic exception and give it some parameters. Again, the thing I want you to focus in on there is this idea, once again, that everything in Java is an object. And notice what I did there. I threw out this new command again. Because again, I have to create this object, an instance of this class, which I do through the new, and I'm invoking this arithmetic exceptions constructor when I do this.